It's time now for some tough love on the subject. The reason there is so much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African-American family. He's got a point. He's got more than a point. Bill? Raised without much structure, young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture, drugs, hustling, gangs. Nobody forces them to do that. Again, it is a personal decision. He is right about that too. But in my estimation, he doesn't go far enough. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Here's number five, pull up your pants. Number four now is the N-word. Now number three, respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. I've lived in littering. Number two, finish school. You want to break the cycle of poverty? Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. And number one, and probably the most important, just because you can have a baby, it doesn't mean you should, especially without planning for one or getting married first. What the hell was that? Over the last few days, I have been thunderstruck just watching Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo self-destruct in front of my eyes with their constant gaslighting, outright lying, and constant goalpost moving. Just yesterday, these two clowns were mocking any suggestion that crime was exploding in these Democrat-run cities where the far left is calling for abolition or defunding the police. And they were wringing their hands about, get this, a hate crime involving two peaceful protesters who painted their own political message over top of the Black Lives Matter painting. A common tactic of the left that is always defended by these guys, but guess what? Those are rules for them, not for you. Free speech for them, not for you. It's all about creating division. Yeah. Literally say it on state TV. It's coming for you next. Oh yeah, well, uh, you, you see the, the right wing machine kick in, media machine kick in. Democratic cities are in chaos right now. Is this what you want from Joe Biden? And they're gonna take your country away and they're taking down the statues and- Crime is rising crime is as they rising. defund police. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. And again, defunding police, it's like, I've been doing this for literally decades and still my mind is just blown by watching such brazen obvious propaganda. I mean really, are they suggesting that Democrats and the far left aren't tearing down America's history and targeting more of it every single day? One of Biden's VPs literally said she would consider taking down our founder's monuments. Do they seriously believe that the left doesn't want to defund police and that Democrat run cities aren't exploding in crime right now? Let's just get back to Don Lamont and Chris Cuomo mocking the suggestion that crime is rising in Democrat-run cities. As I've shown you before, Democrat cities are in fact the most violent cities, and that's separate from the lawlessness that we're seeing right now. Now he just ignores obvious undeniable facts like black people, more specifically black men, are disproportionately represented in violent crime and murder. The highest rates of intro-racial murder in this country is black on black. Yes, intro-racial murder is the most common form of murder in every group, but it's the highest rate in the country when it comes to black on black murder. Anytime Don Lemon is confronted with with this fact, he dismisses it saying that every group kills more within their own group. But the fact is, and the fact that he always glosses over, is the fact that it happens at the highest rates within the black community. Just look at this 2016 interview with Sheriff Clark. Clark brings up this fact and Lemon just dismisses it with the usual trope. Let's have a conversation about the black on black crime, which kills more black males, which is more of a threat to any black male in the United States than a, than, a, than a law enforcement officer. Sure. Yes, that's a, whole, that's a different conversation. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. There is an issue when it comes to violence. Black on black crime or black, it's, it's crime. 
white people kill white people tend to kill uh, white people. You know, black people go. tend not to kill black people. Not, not in the okay, numbers. Not in the numbers. That's fine, but that's a different I don't care. Lemon had no response. Now, look what Lemon said about this just a couple days ago. I know that. But I agree, uh, but that's not I, what the Black Lives okay, Matter movement is about, that, Terry. Black Lives Matter is about police about, brutality they, and, about, and about criminal justice. It's not about what happens in, in communities when it comes to crime, black on black crime. People who live near each other, black people, kill each other. Same as whites. Eighty some percent of white people are killed by white people true. because of proximity. Very true. It's the same thing with black people. But that I happens in every single I neighborhood. Have to... I can't have a conversation with you if we're both talking at the same time. See what I mean? He even mentions the percentage of white on white murder, but fails to mention the percentage of black on black murder. He can't because if he were to do that, it would destroy his entire narrative. He's manufacturing a false reality with a very selective dissemination of information. Somehow, we need to start opening the eyes of our opposition. Otherwise, we are on a collision course in this country that will not end well. To that point, I'd like to invite any left-wingers out there to my Discord so we can get some discourse going. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad to have a bunch of like minded people to discuss things that you're all interested in, but I'd like to be a little bit more productive. Come on over, chat with us, explain to us why you buy into these people over at CNN. Explain to us why you're buying into what people like Don Lemon are spewing. One last reminder, on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'll be appearing on Dylan Burns TV, which is on Twitch, joining three other right-leaning people to debate three left-wingers. It should be really interesting, so make sure to check that out tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll put a link in the description. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. And as always, you can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.